I know. It's a very, very common mistake that, ladies and gentlemen, you got to really make sure you watch out for it. Okay? So what we're going to do again, let's just go follow through the process. The first thing, remember, guys, we got to make sure we take our divisor. And we're trying to prove this is a factor or not. Right? We want to see, does this divide into it? If it divides into it, that means it's a factor. So we're going to write our factor, or our possible factor, as a 0. So I set it equal to 0 and solve. x equals negative 2. So I go negative 2. All right, now, here's where it gets confusing. We say 4, 4x four to the fourth plus 8x cubed, and then we go to minus 6x. There's no x squared, right? So this problem can be rewritten as this. 4x to the fourth plus 8x cubed plus 0x squared minus 6x minus 8 divided by x plus 2. What? That's the exact same thing. So you have because what's 0 times x squared? No. 0. But you got to make sure we put in that place value. We have, 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 have to have that place value. Have like the order, they have to have you have to have that order. Yeah. Why are you putting the 0? Because we have to have this place order. We have to have descending order. So since there's no z x squared, we have to have that place value in there. OK? Now. Wait, wait, what about the other problem? There was no x squared. Yeah, there was. Yeah, the other problem, I had all descending order. So now I do 4, 8, negative 6, 0. Sorry, 4, 8, 0, negative 6, negative 8. So first one's a freebie, right? Bring it straight down. 4. Then diagonal you multiply. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. 8 plus negative 8 is 0. 0 times negative 2 is negative 2. 0 plus, zero plus negative 2 is negative 2. So you don't, you don't, you don't, you practically ignore the 8. 0 times negative 2 is 0. You did, you did negative 2 times 8. You still have oh, negative yeah, I'm sorry. 0 plus 0 is, yeah, 0 times negative 2 is 0. Thank you. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 times negative 2, again, is 0, bringing me down a negative 6. That's not what I was saying. No. Negative 6 times negative 2 is a positive 12, bringing it to a 4. It's not the same thing, and I'll explain here in a second. So what was your question? Do you have a question, Mike? Well, I mean, negative 6 plus 0 is negative 6. Right, negative 6 plus 0 is negative 6. And then negative 6 times 2 is positive 12. Now, why is your answer, why does this? So now, let's write out our answer and see how it changes or how it would have altered if you guys didn't put in that 0. Remember, we do remainder, constant, linear, quadratic, and cubic. Now we have two zeros for our quadratic and our cubic term. So Katie, what I'd write is 4x cubed plus 0x squared plus 0x minus 6 plus 4 over x plus 2. Now, do we need to write 0 times something? No, right? So our final answer, we can write 4x cubed minus 6 plus 4 divided by x plus 2. Do you guys see that if you did not put in that 0, you do not have the same answer? Yes? Um, I, I, yeah, I have the same answer, but how did you get 4x cubed? Because I do remainder, constant, linear, quadratic, cube. You just keep on going up the ladder. Just keep on bringing the more and more you have, the, keep, the higher you go up there. Okay? Yeah.